Force Ghosts. It's something that we haven't seen since the original trilogy. Lastly, of course, Return of the Jedi. So I wanted to go over Star Wars The Last Jedi. This is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. I thank you also very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, I really wanted to go over the subject of Force Ghosts and how they will return in The Last Jedi. Now, we do know that Yoda is coming back in this film for multiple reasons. All right, we know that a set was actually developed over at Pinewood to accommodate a puppet. Frank Oz also went in there to do some lines. Another thing is also that MakingStarWars.net's editor-in-chief Jason Ward saw a lot of evidence supporting that there would be a Yoda Force Ghost or Yoda returning in The Last Jedi since there were a lot of Yoda-related stuff at one of the studios at Pinewood. So when I'm looking at that and everything and how they actually originally wanted both Yoda and Darth Vader to come back as Force Ghosts, or Anakin, I should say. I think that they're taking a lot of concepts from The Force Awakens and implementing them in The Last Jedi. So, also what's very intriguing is we also heard a lot of rumors and leaks out there that Obi-Wan Kenobi's Force Ghost would return, but only in the form of a voice, not visually. Also, Hayden Christensen was spotted at Pinewood Studios in the UK a couple months ago, not too long ago at all. And he was also at Star Wars Celebration for the first time in years. So all of these things are very, very interesting and they seem to really add up. And I think that even looking at the Last Jedi teaser, we hear both Obi-Wan Kenobi's voice and Yoda's voice. I think a lot of this is trying to tell us that Force Ghosts are indeed returning, and it could be all three of them, both Anakin, Yoda, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. So, when I'm looking at that in that sense, it really is a question. What would their purpose be in The Last Jedi if they are all going to be returning in this film? We know for sure, we are for certain that Yoda's coming back. The only other two that we really don't know about for sure is Obi-Wan and Anakin. Though, like I said before, Obi-Wan has been rumored and leaked to come back only in the form of a voice. And I do find it very, very intriguing how Hayden Christensen was spotted at Pondwood very much recently. And he went to Star Wars Celebration for the first time in years. Now, sure, he could have went to Celebration just because it was the 40th anniversary. That's one way to look at it. But I just find it very, very interesting overall. Just everything. Now, Force Ghosts, I think that they're definitely going to embrace it because they really want to bring in new fans and they really want to get those new fans very much familiar with the whole entire concept of what a Force Ghost is and what it looks like. This way they can go back to Return the Jedi and recognize immediately what that is. And they'll know. So, I look at it like this. I think that it's really going to make a lot of the fans happy if we are to see Anakin as a Force Ghost on screen. Yoda, of course, we're going to just have to say that he's definitely coming. He is. Obi-Wan, you know, it could just be his voice, which, hey, I'm happy enough with that. We heard his voice in The Force Awakens. We technically, you know, had him as a Force Ghost if that was his voice. Because, you know, it would have been a Force Ghost if he said Rey, because Rey wasn't born after, uh, before Obi-Wan's death. So, that was definitely a Force Ghost, Obi-Wan Kenobi voice, if you ask me. Now, one thing I have to say is that Force Ghosts, I think that it would be a very brief scene for everything. I don't think they're going to really go very, very hard on it. I think they're just going to go very light on it. It's going to be a quick little scene to get the fans familiar, and it's going to serve a purpose, I believe, too. I think it's definitely going to serve a great purpose in this film. It has to. They can't just throw Force Ghosts in there for no reason. They have to have a reason <clears throat> as to why they are returning. So, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, 
do make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.